G. Prasad Rao, a senior psychiatrist, and through this Manasarovar YouTube program, I am trying to be with you in educating and helping your understanding of mental health issues. Let us try to understand our child. Many times, each one of us, as we have passed through our childhood, do have a lot of pleasant memories about our childhood. We do have some memories of unpleasantness of the childhood. As you grow into an adult and you grow up to have a child, many times psychologically, whatever were the unfulfilled wishes you had during your childhood, whatever the beauty and good things you have in your childhood, you want to give to your child. Naturally, as you give your child, you give the genetic material as well, but you are the most important as parents to give the environment, your temperament, your emotions also is shared as the child grows up. Especially sometimes some children are different from others. Now many times what happens is like our five fingers which are not at all alike to each other and each finger is quite unique to itself with any unique functions, your child is a golden child for you. The golden child has some very good, great things and energy and also carries along something which you don't like. Now as the child grows, normally what happens, child picks up from two, three important sources. The first source is, as we call the genetic makeup what he or child as a she is got this genetic information from both the parents remember not only both the parents the genetic information can come from few generations upwards from the grandparents or great grandparents the most unique thing in this world which we cannot describe as a or at best described as a part of nature. A grandfather used to sneeze in a particular fashion and your child also sneezes in a particular fashion or smiling part. Or for example, a child, how each child demands the feed. Of course, quite early as he or she is born, they just cry. But as they grow up between third month to six month, they're demanding and between six months to 12 months, their demands for the food actually is quite unique. So many times as we see the world, the child learns lot of things and that is the most unique beauty of learning. Some of this learning occurs vicariously just by observation, smiling at you, laughing at you or showing anger or wincing for a pain or demanding something whenever he or she wetted. These things the child shows. So whenever a child is crying, they are definitely showing some distress. But let us focus on what happens between the ages of 5th and 12th, that's the childhood. As I said, each child is unique and each child have their own way of expression of temperament. For example, Let's start with the sleeping pattern or eating pattern. Some children actually would prefer to eat only snacks. What we call snacking child. A snacking child tends to eat rice less, wheat less, but would prefer to eat multiple small type, small variety, small quantity of snacks item. And today's child is exposed to this media so ordering a pizza or budger, which is probably the staple food for some of the children today is a conditioned behavior which the child observes, especially you give in to the child demand and child likes it, there will be more demands for that. But there are also children who are very organized, very punctual, very orderly, 
they keep their things so orderly, so organized that their books are kept in the rack in the most beautiful fashion. They come back from the school, they keep their shoes in one particular fashion, they wash. All these things is because of your upbringing. There is something what we call the child learns as early of as 18 months, whatever the parents or parent figures. Many times in our joint families, we have grandmothers and grandfathers who organize and make the child learn or sometimes the paternal and maternal aunts who stay in the family. Child picks up somebody who the child is more comfortable and learns a lot of good things, including organizing the studies part, which today's child is started learning from the age of two and a half to three years, which I think is not right. The best age to learn or to educate is usually four and a half years to five years. But that apart, child learns a lot of behaviors. Toilet training is the earlier part. And if a toilet training has not occurred at the age of six years, that child needs proper psychological assessment and some psychological treatment, treatment for controlling the bedwetting. But let us look about the troubled child. There are some children who have breath holding spells. They demand something and whenever the demand is not being met, they just start crying and suddenly end up holding their breath. Likewise, there are children who show temper tantrums. These two symptoms, along with bedwetting lasting for a long time, are usually symptoms because of emotional distress which the child expresses at that point of time. Remember, these are just signs and symptoms that the child is in distress. The problem might be not necessarily with the child, but it will be with the environment. Now, it don't get into a little bad mood when I say that you are also part of the problem for the child. But start thinking like this. As long as you say that I am not the problem and the child is a problem, you are not looking appropriately. Once you start saying that I might be the problem for the child, so start looking at your issues. You might be going through emotional trauma. You might be going through emotional crisis, financial crisis, relationship issues with your spouse or some other relationship which is in the with your office colleagues which you are not able to. Or most important, the stress outside the home, you are carrying it to the home most likely the office related stress. So all these factors would be reflecting on the child's behavior. For example, I know of a child who refused to go to school because daily father used to drink alcohol, come and beat daily the mother. So the child felt that if he goes to the school, father might drink and come back home and beat the mother as if the child thinks that he is the omnipresent omni superior person to protect his mother from his father. So remember these kind of emotional issues. I would always ask my child's parents or the child's immediate environment members, whoever, when they come to me, that look, always say, don't say the child is the problem. Say, we are part of the problem. We really don't know who is the problem. It might be me. It might be my wife. It might be to be my child. Having said this, I thought the most important step right now is to have a positive empathy. Of course, every parent loves their child, but simply loving without a proper emotional tie or contact with your child does not give results. Especially don't try to negate yourself, be positive, try to identify the most important thing I normally say is eat with your child, especially in the dinners. Eat with the child, especially the breakfast. Keep listening to the child, both the mother and father today. You should listen what the child is saying. Child might bring a lot of stories, but you don't might have a time. I would always ask the most crucial part is between 5 years to 12 years. So you need to hear, continue the rapport as the child grows and that is a time when the child actually develops empathy, these kind of emotional problems may not be there. Let us try to go and grow with the child and try to always, most importantly, I would suggest 
don't compare your child with any other child. Even if you say, for example, that child is doing better, for a sensitive child, it will be tough. So you encourage your child and remember your child has his or her own potential. You are only trying to facilitate, facilitate the best potential which the child has. Of course, try to meet child psychologists who would guide you. And the, today there are a lot of books where you can learn. Dear ladies and gentlemen, let us give our child the best time as they grow up. Thank you. And I'm going to see you in the Manasarovar YouTube channel for the further mental health programs. Thanking you. Namaste. I am Dr. G. Prasad Rao, a senior psychiatrist from Hyderabad.